Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer is trying hard to restore the party's electability by distancing himself from Jeremy Corbyn's far left. In June, Labour moderates dealt Corbynites a crushing blow as they install David Evans, who worked for the party under Tony Blair, as General Secretary. The appointment came after an already wide-ranging shadow cabinet reshuffle, which saw a string of Corbynite frontbenchers including John McDonnell. Diane Abbott and Richard Bergen replaced with figures from the party's soft left. Moreover, at the end of last month, Sir Keir sacked Rebecca Long Bailey from the front bench for promoting an article containing an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory. Despite all his efforts, though, it might not be enough. Former Labour Foreign Secretary and SDP co-founder Lord David Owen recently told Express Co UK that unless the Labour leader changes his view on Brexit, it is unlikely the party will be able to rebuild the Red Wall. He said, he did great damage to the Labour stance by forcing the London view to be the majority view. That is not the majority view in the Labour Party and he has got to be very careful about that, as many wonder whether Sir Keir will succeed in restoring the party's electability. Unearthed reports reveal how in 2017, Labour was accused of colluding with the European Commission to force Britain to stay under the bloc's rule in a customs union after Brexit. A throwback report by the Daily Express cited a dossier compiled by the Conservatives which suggested that senior Labour Party figures worked closely with members of the Brussels executive. It followed concerns that former Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn had timed a Brexit speech to coincide with a demand by the EU's chief negotiator Michel Barnier that Britain either had to stay in a customs union or Northern Ireland would have been separated from the rest of the UK. Labour strongly denied the claim. However, Mr Corbyn's support for a customs union was the 13th position taken by the party on Brexit. European Commission records showed Mr Barnier registered meetings with Mr Corbyn in July and October 2016 and in February 2017. The Tory dossier noted, during this time, Labour's position on Brexit has evolved dramatically to now ensure the UK cannot have an independent trade policy after Brexit. A leaked memo also suggested Mr Corbyn discussed policy changes with Mr Barnier suggesting concessions including submitting to the European Court of Justice and a unilateral guarantee on the rights of EU citizens if Labour took power. Richard Corbett, the leader of Labour MEPs in the European Parliament, with regular access to senior EU figures, was described by Sir Keir as a virtual member of my team. Deputy leader of Labour MEPs, Seb Dance, said on Twitter he had met with Mr Barnier in November to discuss the rights of citizens. Just weeks after that meeting, Mr. Dance suggested Labour supported a second referendum. The dossier stated, Mr. Barnier also met with a group of Labour MPs who wanted to keep the UK bound by EU rules and tied to the single market including Chris Leslie, Stephen Doughty and Chuka Yumuna. Former Tory Chief Whip Mark Harper said at the time, Labour's willingness to take their cue from the EU risks undermining the UK's negotiating position and disrespecting what the British people voted for. Instead of working to get the best Brexit deal for our country, Labour would rather play political games and frustrate the Brexit process. However, Labour described the claims as simply untrue. A spokesman said, It is no secret that EU officials hold regular meetings with representatives from all political parties to discuss Britain's future relationship with the EU after Brexit. Labour respects the result of the referendum and, while the Tories fight among themselves, is offering an alternative approach to Brexit that protects jobs and the economy.